Proverbs 35 and 6 says it this way. Every word of God is flawless, one translation will say. Another will say, every word of God proves true. It goes on to then say, do not add to his word or he will rebuke you and prove you to be a liar. Every word of scripture is flawless. It's perfect. Scripture alone is highest authority. It is sufficient. Do not add to it or God will rebuke you as a liar. And religious people are dangerous, deadly, and damaging because they're bold, they're courageous, they're arrogant, as we will see. And they push people to obey them rather than God. And the result of religion is that some people feel and present life with God as a sort of paint-by-numbers kit. It's artless, it's heartless. All you do is just get the Bible and the other rule book, put them together, and then paint by numbers. You guys ever painted by numbers? The whole goal is that everyone's painting would look exactly the same. And to do that, all you need to do is obey all of the rules. All of the number two dots, you paint those in with the green. The number threes with the orange. The number four with the red. The number five with the yellow. Do not go outside of the lines. That would be a violation of the rule. And your goal is to make your picture look like everyone's picture. And some people really prefer the paint by numbers relationship view with God. No passion, no love, no prayer, no heart, no discernment, no care. Just paint by numbers. Eat this, do this, pray this, read this, do that, tie this. Good, my picture is perfect even if my heart is passionless and my relationship is null and void. I was obedient to the law. God wants more. God wants more than a paint by numbers relationship with his people. He wants a living, active, vibrant, conversant, prayerful, discernment, spirit-filled, spirit-led, living, loving, life-giving relationship with you. And religion and legalism, which undergirds religion, is an enemy of that kind of living, loving, life-giving relationship with God. 